with your eyes closed, whenever you're ready, take a really deep breath in. Make sure you're comfortable and relaxed. Lean back. Make sure your head and neck are supported. And with every breath that you are breathing, you are feeling your own aliveness. It's aliveness that exists on planet Earth at this time as a matter of fact, just like the aliveness in a tree, or a bird, or a friend, or a neighbor is very real and very meaningful. As long as you have this aliveness, you have the most important thing a person can have. And another breath keeps proving your aliveness as a matter of fact. And perhaps even in that, you can find some comfort, you can find some relaxation. It's not a coincidence that monks from one country and yogis from another and martial artists from yet another will all sit to breathe, to find inner peace and empowerment. This breath of life gives you the oxygen to think with to act with, to figure things out with, and to speak with when necessary. So in every breath already, you're finding some comfort, you're finding some peace, and it's not because of me. This breath of life started quite some time ago, and it's most likely going to continue for quite some time. Give yourself credit for being the cause of the comfort that you're feeling. It means you don't have to hear me over and over. You don't even have to hear me ever again to turn to your own breathing and your own aliveness to find a dependable, constant, faithful source of stability and constancy and relaxation and peace just as you can be comforted by perhaps a pet cat or dog just breathing or a partner just breathing your own aliveness is important enough and worthy enough and good enough to give you a sense that all is well with the world because the most important things are there and then Bring your attention to the top of your head and imagine a wave of relaxation beginning to go down deeper. With your cooperation, you can feel softness. You can feel relaxation be caused by your thoughts. My words might give guidance, but it's your thoughts, your understanding that's causing the comfort you're feeling. So feel that relaxation spread down your face and your neck and your shoulders. The mind-body link is very, very real. And you are sending some high-quality, helpful signals through the mind-body link now to tell your body very correctly that this is an appropriate time and place to relax, to feel good, to let go, to give yourself a break. You may already have noticed that your body listens excellently, just like it had listened to so many scary or detrimental thoughts in the past. It's now listening to some helpful, relaxing thoughts that you, more than I, are sending to your body. So keep giving yourself credit for being your own cause of comfort and relaxation. This mind-body link means that you don't just have to be subject to random feelings in your body. You can actually send messages of comfort and stillness 
from your mind to your body and your body listens. After this session, this is a matter of fact. The mind-body link is no longer just for yogis or monks or other people. It's also for you. It's fact now. Which means perhaps you will be more selective about the thoughts you keep. And perhaps you will keep the truthful and reassuring or truthful and inspiring or truthful and comforting thoughts. And discard the untrue thoughts. The thoughts about what isn't. Then feel that relaxation spread down your back down your arms. Feel the bigger muscles become softer and looser and more comfortable. More and more, sending some high quality signals. You can feel your body as an ally, as an excellent listener. So excellent that it was bracing for bad things to happen every time you had thought in your head that a bad thing would happen. And it's such an excellent, faithful, loyal listener that when you start to prepare for the things that are likely, or even the things that are good, your body would be happy to prepare you for the things that are likely, or the things that are good. And one likelihood is this breath of life continues tomorrow, and it continues the next day and it continues the next day after that. Most likely, this aliveness can still be felt very palpably in a month, in a year, and beyond. And as long as you have this aliveness, you have the time to heal from illness and injury. You have the time to figure out challenges and problems. And you have the most important thing and feel that relaxation go all the way down to the bottoms of your feet. And give yourself credit for the relaxation that you're causing. Then perhaps imagine that you're going down a staircase and you'll hear me count the steps down. And the deeper you go, the less you care about ordinary thoughts and ordinary matters because you can feel kind of like a kid at the feet of a storyteller, ready to soak in some helpful ways of, of thinking and imagining. 10, you're taking a step down. Nine, feeling good. Eight, seven, six, five, And here the ele or the here you can take a step down. Here. You can give yourself credit for the relaxation that you have caused. You might give me credit for giving you instructions, but that's where my role in this ends. All the rest of it, the physical comfort, the mental relaxation, the feelings of peace were actually caused by the thoughts you chose to listen to so that your body would get the right message. You really do have this capability, even if it was under-recognized previously. The quality of your thoughts has been affecting the way you feel and will continue to affect the way you feel. Perhaps in your head and heart, you will begin to treat yourself like a friend. When you're talking to a friend to support and encourage them, it's easy to find the truthful and reassuring words and the truthful and empowering words and the truthful and inspiring words. And you don't even have to stretch the truth to tell a friend that you love them, that they're awesome that they can do what they set their minds to. In your head and heart, you deserve no less. As an adult, 
You are the highest moral authority over you. Once you became an adult, you took over from your parents in deciding what's good, what's right, what's proper. And if in your assessment, you're doing all right, your own opinion is the highest opinion on that matter. You'll be joining the leaders in the world when you're self-validating. You'll be joining all those who are creative and original when you turn inwardly to recognize when you're doing life well enough, to recognize when you're doing a good enough job in all of your endeavors. Too often, what you had been lacking was not anything you could consume and not anything that you could find in another. You are lacking those voices of support and encouragement and kindness that perhaps motivated you when you were young enough to have teachers or coaches or parents sometimes say those words to you. But the good news is as an adult, you have become your own biggest source of validation and comfort and encouragement. And when you tell yourself that things are gonna be all right, the highest authority has spoken. More than anyone else on the planet, you will recognize when you're moving in a good direction. You will recognize when you're doing all right and treating yourself as you would a friend is an excellent standard when it comes to assessing how you're doing. It is true that some of what I'm saying may contradict some ideas or perspectives you used to have, but as an adult and your own highest moral authority, you get to decide who you believe to be right. You have no obligation to believe or accept anything I say. I'm a guide, but you yourself can pick your influences just like you pick the books you'll read or the music you'll listen to or the news shows you'll watch. You'll pick which opinions and thoughts and perspectives you deem worthiest of keeping. And if during this segment today, you've heard some good ideas, ideas that with your adult conscience and judgment you deem worthy of keeping, then you'll let those good ideas resonate in your heart and body and mind and you'll let these freely chosen ideas displace unchosen ideas from a long time ago. More and more, in your own head and heart, you'll nurture the more supportive and encouraging and kind thoughts. I don't have to tell you what they are. They are the same thoughts you would share with a friend. They are the same thoughts you would speak to a child for them to adopt as their worldview. The same standards by which you would treat a friend or a child or a neighbor are perfectly good for you too. Take it all, let it sink in with all your heart and all your mind and every cell from head to toe, accept and embrace the perspectives that have resonated, that resonate as truthful. In a moment, I'm gonna begin counting up. As I count, bring your attention outward, feel energy return and as you bring your attention to the outer world, you'll still have your aliveness. You'll still have your kinder thoughts. You'll still have an imagination that's every bit as capable of generating more kind thoughts as the harsher ones. Only now you know you have choice and you know that good things happen when you speak to yourself like a friend and the mind body link is very real and your body's an excellent listener. 
this was always true. It's going to be true tomorrow. It's going to be true in a week, a month, a year or so. You can let it all sink in. One, become aware of where your hands and feet are resting. Become aware, perhaps, of where you are. Maybe other sounds. Two, become aware, perhaps, of what you have planned afterward and how your outlook may already have changed because of today's realizations. And it's the same world out there, but you have clearer lenses through which to see your role in this world and your capabilities in this world. The world will prove that these reassuring truths are truthful and that so much of what sent your body the wrong signals was not the truth, but actually lies or at best ideas that have become outdated. Three, you are emerging feeling stronger, feeling more capable, feeling from head to toe refreshed and relaxed, ready to be in this world, ready to be comfortable in this world. Four, then feel energy start from the bottoms of your feet and go all the way up to the top of your head, making you feel energized, making you feel refreshed, and making you feel wonderful in every way, knowing that you've made a change, ready to be back in this room to perceive this world through some clearer lenses. And five, in the time you need to embrace these perspectives and be fully back in the room, then open your eyes to return back to the room 